In this case, we have what it seems to be the integral of a fraction. But have a look at the bottom of the fraction and realize that what we actually have at the bottom is a power. As we have 2x to the 3 plus 5, everything to the power of 3. Therefore, we can rewrite this integral by bringing the power up just by changing the sign of the exponent. So we have x squared by 2x to the 3 plus 5 to the power of minus 3 dx. And now this integral looks pretty similar to the previous one we did. You just have to realize that this time the inside function is 2x to the 3 plus 5 as 2x to the 3 plus 5 to the minus 3 is nothing else but putting 2x to the 3 plus 5 inside x to the minus 3. Therefore, we are going to check if we can apply substitution. Remember that in order to apply substitution, we needed to have the composition of two functions inside the integral, but also the derivative of the inside function. In this case, we have an x squared multiplying which is almost the derivative of g, as the derivative of g is going to be 6x squared. And we have an x squared, so if you multiply that by 6, you will get the derivative of g. Therefore, this tells us that we can apply substitution in this case. Remember that when we apply the substitution technique, what we want to do is to rewrite our integral in terms of u. Therefore, we need to replace g of x with u, but also we need to rewrite dx in terms of du. So we will start by choosing our u, which is in this case the inside function 2x to the 3 plus 5. And in order to rewrite dx in terms of du, we are going to find du dx, which in this case is 6x squared. Now, if we want to replace dx, we need to get dx by itself in this equation. So, if we cross multiply, we get du is equal to 6x squared dx. And now, to get dx by itself, we can divide both sides by 6x squared. So, we get dx is equal du over 6x squared. Now that we have our u and that we also have dx in terms of du, we can rewrite our integral so we have the integral of x squared by 2x to the 3 plus 5 to the power of minus 3 dx is equal to. And now we are going to replace this by u and dx by du over 6x squared. So we have the integral of x squared by u to the minus 3 by du over 6x squared. If you remember, at this stage, all your x's should cancel, and that's what happens here. x squared cancels with x squared, so we are left with only the integral of u to the minus 3 by du over 6. If we take this 6 outside of the integral as 1 over 6, then we have the integral of u to the minus 3 du, which can be done by direct integration. So we have 1 over 6 by, and now the integral of u to the minus 3 is just u to the minus 2 over minus 2 plus the constant of integration. If we multiply these two fractions here, we'll get u to the minus 2 over minus 12 plus c. And now you have to remember that when we are doing substitution, we need to get our x back. Therefore, we are going to replace u by 2x to the 3 plus 5. So our integral is 2x to the 3 plus 5 to the power of minus 2 over minus 12 plus c. Now we can rewrite our answer in exactly the same way as the integral was given. 
so we can bring the power down again with a positive exponent. That gives us minus 1 over 12 by 2x to the 3 plus 5 to the power of 2 plus c.